Traveling means searching for Wi-Fi all the time. You can't go to McDonald's every day. And let's face it, the Wi-Fi in hotels is not always great. There is a solution for that. Like we explained in our previous video, Traveler's Wi-Fi is really easy to order and now we will explain to you how you can use it on your travels. This is the Wi-Fi router and first of all, the things that we like the most is the size of this thing. The pocket size makes sure that you can, you know, put it in your pocket or in your backpack uh, because when you're traveling you always have like loads of stuff with you but this one will definitely not take so much space. Second of all, this little thingy here it's not the design but it has an even smaller hole in it so you can put a cord towards it or something else so it makes sure that you can hang it on something when you're traveling you always lose stuff you break things and things like that but this Wi-Fi router it's not like a plastic thingy but it's a decent hard case so it won't break um, because it's really firm and really solid and we absolutely love that no don't leave now we don't have a background anymore stay next it is really easy to use not easy to shoot something in the airport at all times any unintended baggage should be reported okay. next it is so easy to use so um let me explain First of all, you press the button on the side. There is only one button on the side, so you can't really miss it. You hold it in for three seconds, and then the router will automatically go on, and it will automatically search for Wi-Fi. So actually, when the light is blimping, it is still searching for Wi-Fi, and when the light stays on, it means that you have Wi-Fi and you're ready to go. Well, of course, your phone, your laptop, and other devices, they will also find the Wi-Fi, and it is called Traveler's Wi-Fi with some numbers behind it, and that name, and also so the password for it you can just find on the back of your Wi-Fi router. There are also some other lights on the Wi-Fi router. Uh, the middle one is actually for the signal, so that will blimp when it is searching for a signal. And the last one, the small battery one, will blimp when the battery is almost empty. When you're using your Wi-Fi, you of course also want to know how much you still Hi, have. Hi. You done? Okay. Well, with Freddy and uh, possibly Daniel, <laughs> When you're using your Wi-Fi, you of course also want to know how much internet you still have. So that is easily checked with the QR code on the back. You just scan it with your phone and you will go straight to a landing page on which you can see how much data you already used. Well, charging the thing is pretty obvious, right? I mean, do I need to explain the cable? Go no. no. This was our explaining video of how you can use the Traveler's Wi-Fi. Oh, ladies and gentlemen from New York, I'm gonna call you. We were almost <laughs> done. <laughs> This was our explaining video of how you can Mark Brady. Mark Brady, just go to your fucking gate. <laughs> this was our explaining video of how you can use a traveler's Wi-Fi. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. We would like to thank Traveler's Wi-Fi again for sponsoring this video and also for letting us use the Wi-Fi. It's the bomb. Let's go to New York. It's a terminal white page cast. This is just a test. I think one, two, three, four, five.